Perfect. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to mess around with any of this stuff yet. Although I do kind of want the speed belt, honestly. It's a All right, guys. Hello, hello. We are back. So what's on the table for tomorrow? That's actually a good question. What is today? Today's Thursday. So tomorrow is more RimWorld. Every Friday is some sort of sim slash strategy game. And right now we're playing a bit of RimWorld until we either, you know, lose that colony. Like if everyone dies or basically we get we get bored of it. At some point, I want to set up like some sort of goal from the for the RimWorld series. Of course, there's no subtitles. Since you are already on location in Hong Kong, we saw this as an opportunity to help out our American Okay. Friends. Nightshade was investigating. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, anyways, at some point I would like to set some sort of, like, goal for, for RimWorld. That way, if, like, you know, the, the series ends up going a really long time, like, we have, we have an end point other than just everyone dying. RimWorld, yeah, it's a, uh, strategy management game thing. Um, <laughs> we played it last Friday. I don't remember if you stopped in or not, but, um, you, you control a bunch of little pawns. You build up a world. You get attacked by different things. You can also have random events like extreme weather, alien attacks, um, volcanic eruptions off in the distance, putting you in a, a permanent winter state, all different kinds of weird things that can happen. And, um, your, your goal basically is just to survive. And then depending what kind of playthrough you're doing. It may be to live, uh, just, you know, to, to, to a certain point or to escape from the planet or whatever. Um, and then there's been some other things. Ooh. What? Uh, no. Hold on. Can we? Oh, this is, this is gross. Oh god, controls? Is there a way to edit the controls? Guys, the forward and back on the left stick moves you forward and back. Left and right on the left stick turn you side to side. That's This is all being done with the left stick right now. Forward, back, turn, side to side. That's all left stick. Right stick moves you side to side and then points you up and down. This is, this is, this is bad. This is just, this is really bad. Um, okay, no, we need to quit mission, change it. Yeah, I'm going to see if it's possible to change it. I hope it is. Holy hell do I hope it is, because that is, that's going to be rough. Uh, back, please. Options. Controller setup. There we go. Move and strafe, look and rotate. Okay. Why would they have the default be the other way around? That is so bad. <laughs> I I don't I don't know how they they played that, like play tested that and was like, "You know what? This is perfect. We're going to keep it just like that, never change it." How do you even get that idea in your head? What is going on, dude? There had to be like other games out by by now. By the time this came out. When did it come out? I'm trying to look, actually, on the back of the box. I see a 2001 copyright on it. So, probably either 2001 or 2002. So, it was an early PS2 game. But still, like, that is... That is rough, dude. There we go. Yeah, it's still not... Yeah, okay. I guess you can kind of... You can kind of move diagonally you you slow down a bit like there i got it full tilt and we're moving pretty slow <laughs> so it's not perfect but it's so much better before combat evolved came out yeah yeah i mean still though like i i i don't know first person shooter history that well but i imagine somebody had to come up with the idea of joysticks to move and one joystick to move and one joystick to aim before fucking 2001, 2002. We've been compromised. An intruder has entered from the helipad. Show him our usual hospitality. Uh, how do we switch weapons? There we go. Okay, that also shoots the weapon. Oh, R2 switches. R1 fires. CE made twin stick a thing? 
Well, obviously not, because <laughs> you said this was before CE came out, right? And this here has twin stick, just not as the not as the default. How do we get our decryptor back? There it is. Exactly. <laughs> And then, not fist. Gun. And actually, if I remember correctly, uh, one really weird way that you could play 007 Goldeneye on the N64 was plugging in two controllers, two N64 controllers, and then uh, using one joystick in both hands to get the, the twin stick style action. Now, I don't know if it was twin stick like the default setup for this or if it was twin stick like, you know, what we're used to these days, but uh, I'm pretty sure it had twin stick controls. Just, you know, it was weird how you had to go about it. Claw? Laser? That's like a grappling claw sort of thing. Can we... Nah, I think we're just wasting ammo. Can we jump? We can jump. What's the point of this room? Oh. Action button X. There we go. Was that that whole level? Just getting to the, getting to the elevator? Oh, during one of the breaks, by the way, I looked up Cry of Fear, and it does actually look somewhat interesting, I'm not going to lie. I am interested in checking it out at some point. Oh, is there actually bullet travel? Not hit scan? It's janky? What is the Cry of Fear, you mean, or... No more ammo? Thank God. We're going to need it. Is there ammo or something back here, or did I just see... Nah, I think I just saw one of the lights or something from between the boxes. Uh, I'm going to guess Decryptor. No, never mind. Decryptor does fuck all. Can we just oh, walk up to it? Your Q laser could cut through that. Our laser is powerful enough to cut through that, but not to cut through a box? Really? <laughs> Excuse me, game? Whatever you say. Cry of Fear. It has six inventory slots and keys. To take up a spot, but not ammo. That is a bit weird. I mean, Resident Evil, the original trilogy, keys and ammo took up slots. So, like, I'm not totally against keys taking up slots or anything like that, but it's weird that ammo wouldn't. I guess if it was built off Half-Life. Half-Life, uh... From what I remember, I didn't play that much of it, but from what I remember, it didn't have... Inventory style ammos. Can we can we crouch? No. Doesn't seem like it. And it's definitely not a hit scan game because I was right on that dude's head. And he had time to run away before the bullet hit him. Fireworks. Oh. Fireworks sound fun. <laughs> there we go, dude. <laughs> the freaking James Bond noise coming up. <laughs> I don't I never watched the James Bond James Bond films, but um I'm thinking this is a bit of a cash grab man based off of some movie that was coming out at the time. Especially since that sound plays every time you do something with the environment or solve a puzzle like your laptop died while you were in the shower. You're sorry? Why are you sorry? That's it's fine, love. Uh Oh, there's some uh there's some some aim assist on here too. I don't know when that started in video games, but I'll take it. Aim assist is nice whenever you're using a controller. I hate it whenever I'm using a keyboard and mouse, but I'm really bad at a controller, honestly. I'm so used to the past, like, 10 years doing basically nothing but keyboard and mouse gaming, you know, on PC. And now that I've started up the PS2 thing, I'm using a controller a lot again, and it makes it really weird 
playing shooters and things like that where normally I'd be using a mouse to do all the aiming because I lost a viewer dude it's fine <laughs> like thank you noodle but it's it's fine <laughs> oh we can crouch okay L2's crouch is there a smart way to deal with this like if we take out the lights Okay, apparently we can't take out the lights. That doesn't do shit. Ow. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the bits, love. Oh my god. You up there. Shoot you in the dick a couple times? Will you die? Why are you not dying? Oh my god. Oh, we picked up their weapon. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, it's so inaccurate, though. You gotta be, like, super close for this thing to make any sense. Oh god, bad time to reload. Bad time to reload. It's fine, just shoot. Don't even think, just shoot. <laughs> there we go. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, there's someone else still alive. Hi, do you have a shotgun? Do you mind if I take that from you, dude? I would I would appreciate having a shotgun, honestly. GG. What do you have? Grenades, bro. I'm glad we took him out before we got too close. That could have been a bad time. For Nezzy? What kind of gun is that? I mean, a shotgun, I guess, but... Oh, hi! Oh, shit. I had to reload. Got him. Need more body armor, too. Thanks, game. M, I've located the vials Nightshade was looking for. Now I just need to find Nightshade herself. Oh. Just had to, just had to press the button. Didn't need to use the decryptor. <laughs> Oops. We got there in the end. It's okay. I'm glad I saved this game for a second. Um, <laughs> because, yeah, I... <laughs> so far, I, I'm strongly of the opinion that Devil May Cry 2 is the better game of the two. <laughs> Although it's not terrible. I mean, it works now that we changed the, the ridiculous... Control scheme that it had by default. I'm still pretty upset there's no subtitles. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> Low rider seems superior. I mean, that's an opinion. I can't, <laughs> I can't. I have nothing else to say about that, though. You're you're allowed to believe what you want to believe. That's that's fine. I would strongly disagree, though. <laughs> Low Rider is a video game that exists, and that's about all I could say about that, man. It's uh, it's rough. Now call off your compatriot. Go to hell. You first enjoy the ride. Prepare to launch the sub. Yeah, of all the games I played, that would be, like, bottom three for me, honestly, man. Lowrider. There was just not much... Um... Going for it, like... So, is the pick game for the entire stream? Uh... It depends on how much we enjoy it, honestly. That's that's the only thing that gauges how long of, for the stream we, we stream a game for. Like, if it's a fun game, then I'm fine every now and then playing a game for an, the entire three hours. But if uh, we don't end up enjoying it, then, yeah, we'll probably play it for, like, one to one hour, one and a half hours or whatever, and then switch it. And then, again, any game that we do enjoy gets thrown on to um, onto a list to, to complete eventually, and then people get a vote on it. To, to have completed entirely from, from beginning to end. Holy shit, there's explosions everywhere. Where am I being shot from? Right behind me, maybe. 
Oh, we got a sniper rifle? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. There is absolutely no recoil on this rifle. That that makes sense. How long would Lowrider be? I mean, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> it has to be a game that we haven't played already. Because, uh... I... I... If... I don't know, man. <laughs> if we did, though, like, the shortest time I could get away with doing it for. Like, it's just... There's just nothing... Nothing to it. It's so... It's so basic. Like... And just being basic on its own is not a bad thing, but repetitive, too. Which sucks, because the, the core gameplay mechanics could be fun. You know, upgrading your cars, or doing missions, earning money, all of that stuff. Like, there's stuff there that could make it a decent game. But it's not. It's really, really not. Thank you. You're welcome, lady. I'm still not even sure what your name is, to be honest, but... I'm sure we'll think of something. Oh, was it? I didn't even notice. Fun fact, I actually shoot guns left-handed. I'm not, like, truly ambidextrous in that I can do everything equally right-handed and left-handed, but I am somewhat. Like, I do some things better left-handed than I do right-handed, um, even though I am... Like, I, I write right-handed, but I bowl left-handed, or at least used to when I was younger. I bat left-handed whenever I played baseball. Um, my left eye is my dominant eye for shooting, yes. Um, I can write left-handed, but it's, like, e more easily than a lot of people seem to be able to. But I have trouble making clean circles left-handed. Um, that's the only thing that really stops me. Whenever I used to write Japanese, I did that left-handed a lot. I found it that I was able to to be uh, more precise with the the uh, hiragana, katakana, and, and, and the few kanji that I actually practiced. Um, I found I was more precise with it left-handed, uh, etc. But all of my practice growing up, writing was right-handed, so that's just like my go-to. I think if I practice a bit with my left hand, I could probably do it just as well as my right, but yeah. I'm definitely more right-handed than left-handed, but I don't know if that's because I grew up in a right-handed world or if that's just because, you know. <laughs> I can't be bothered to listen to whatever the hell they're saying because there's no subtitles. That's that's the, honestly the truth of it. I, I like my subtitles, especially whenever you're streaming a game. It's nice for everyone else to be able to see what the hell is going on. Seems like you're left-handed, but right right-handed. Uh, somewhat. I, I'm more comfortable eating right-handed um, than I am left-handed. I write right-handed. I don't know. I guess that's pretty much it. I use my mouse right-handed most of the time. Every once in a while, I'll switch it to my left hand, but most of the time I use it right-handed. Like, it really is a mix of the two. But, like, uh, batting, for instance, I have to do left-handed because when I bat right-handed, I bat down for some reason instead of up. So I would just constantly hit, like, grounders instead of, you know, actually sending them down the field. But by switching, as soon as I switched left-handed, my, my stepdad one day just randomly got the idea, knowing that I shot left-handed and whatnot. He was like, why don't you just try putting the bat in your other hand and instantly... Just naturally, I started batting with an upward swing instead of a downward swing. James, right in front of us. And uh, as far as writing goes, when I was younger, my mom actually did wonder if I was meant to <laughs> to write right hand or left handed, because it took me basically until I was an adult to to get clean writing with my right hand. Um, I did get there eventually. Like my writing now is decent enough, but. Wait, why could I not... Oh, you have to aim with the left stick whenever you pull up that reticule there. Weird. Anyways, but yeah, my writing was so bad left-handed that she was like, maybe... Or right hand. My lord. My writing was so poor with my right hand 
that my mom was like, are you, are, are you sure you're not just left-handed? Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe we've been doing this wrong all along. Uh, oh, you got a rocket. Uh, I think you do too. Do 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 do. Thanks, 007 uh, stuff. You grew up left-handed, so ye. Yeah. So I think if I spent time practicing with my left hand writing, I'd probably be pretty decent at it. But I don't know. Let's be honest, most of the time when I'm writing, it's just to get something written down real quick. So I don't really even care how neat it is or anything. So at this point, I just don't know if it's worth taking the time to figure out if I'm more comfortable left-handed or not. <laughs> Are you a bad guy? No, you're, you're a civilian. Probably don't shoot you. Are we gonna... Wait, are these? Well, that took care of that. Besides you, up there. GG. Anyone else? We done already? What is CH6? Is that a... Oh, some sort of missile launcher thing, huh? Uh, I don't think the shotgun's actually the best one for this. <laughs> it's fine. Where's the other guy shooting me from? I see bullets. Bro, I'm so blind. There you are. Holy hell. Well, that blew the hell up. You just started a game, so you think you can wipe out some death claws in New Vegas? Uh, <laughs> you mean like you just started New Vegas and you want to take on some death claws? I generally prefer Fallout 3 to New Vegas. Um, but I will say the one thing they did a really good job of in New Vegas compared to 3 were making some enemies legitimately like difficult, scary to, to go up against. Death claws being one of them. Like... Death Claws are a bitch in New Vegas, man. Whereas in Fallout 3, like, they're really not that big of a deal, you know? What happens if I shoot that? Nothing? Lame. Oh. Never mind. It does do something. I must have just missed it a million times. Them and the uh, Super Mutants in New Vegas, too. Suffers from MOF? I don't know what that means. MOF. Do you? <laughs> oh, that makes a little bit more sense. Thought you'd never ask. Thanks, Zoe. You're great. I'm not positive who you are, and our car speed to hell and back, but. Nice We're alive, so. Me, Sorry, R. I was... Oh, the lady we saved. That's Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Let's get on with it, shall we? May I present our new BMW Z8? With a few modifications. I think the suspension needs a bit of work. Forward-mounted rockets, retractable machine guns. Sound like it was scraping just from that tiny little, missiles, tiny little bump in the road. Titanium armor. A rocket booster concealed behind the rear license plate, and of course, a refrigerated beverage holder. Of course, you gotta have the refrigerated take beverage care of this holder. Machine 007. You seem to have no appreciation for the painstaking effort that goes into building this type of equipment. Bad guy. Bad guy. Oh, bad lady. Bro, you're dead. I don't even care. You're dead. I'm like <laughs> that rocket blew up a car that was about a foot away from your back. You did not live through that. She's dead, 007. Yeah, you are too. The rest of this is just like the flashes in your brain as you're dying. Get after them. 
Oh, plot armor. Truly the best kind. So are we driving ourselves now? Maybe. If the game loads. Oh no, that was the end of the mission. Bond moves 413. Hold, we missed a lot, huh? Mission duration 457 out of 5. So we did it fast enough, but we missed a lot of uh possible possible explosions, environmental takedowns, etc. It's when the modelers model guns for a lefty. But the devs put it on the other side. Oh. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> I've never thought of that before, but yeah. I mean, I guess it's bound to be a thing sooner or later, right? Somebody that's uh, left-handed making the models and then the devs being, being right-handed. So, you know, naturally putting it on that side. The only video game trivia I know about left-handedness, right-handedness is that uh, Link from Legend of Zelda is normally left-handed. But in the Wii games, they actually had to, to switch it up because you had the motion controls. And since most people are right-handed, they wanted, you know, the, the gun to be, not the gun, the, the, the sword to be in the same hand as you had your Wii mode in. So they changed it to, uh, to right-handed for, for that one reason. How do we use all the other stuff that we have? On your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, 007. Use them sparingly, however. Ow. <laughs> okay, I guess we shouldn't have ran right into the fucking wall there, but I saw a yellow thing and I was like, oh, dude, maybe we can grab something there. Nope, that was just, that was just a wall. How do we use the Q booster and stuff? Okay, that changes our view. Oh, R1? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We switch with... Ow. Oh, God. Oh, maybe don't hit the tram. I don't think that'll end well for us. Bond. The vials have been transferred to that armored van. It is imperative that we recover them. Bond. You were to disable the van without destroying it. Oh. Now we have no clue as to Block's plan. My bad. Return to MI6 immediately. The Q branch briefcase didn't, didn't realize we, <laughs> we weren't allowed to kill him. <laughs> Oops. I guess that's probably what the Q pulse thing is for. Get next to it and then and then pulse it, not not blow it the hell up. Gotcha. We can handle that, I think. I think. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Let me out of here, please. Those blips on your radar indicate special modifications. We're taking so much damage already. What's the smoke do exactly? Oh, it just shoots a bunch of smoke out of her ass. I guess if we have like someone right on our tail, that would come in handy. Ow. You boost? Uh, nope, we missed it. GG. God gamers. Okay, we should be getting close-ish. Didn't we? Didn't we run into him right around here last time? Bond. There he the is. The files have been transferred to that armored van. It is imperative that we recover them. Get the hell out of the way. Wait, what? Excuse me, game. Oh, God. I could have swore I used the pulse on him. I mean, it does take a second to charge. Maybe I was too far away or something. Try again. This guy's driving like a madman. There we go. 
got him that time. Yeah, we must have been too far in front of him or something. I <laughs> just get hit with a freaking missile while we're sitting here. Two missiles. It's fine. We're fine. It's James Bond. <laughs> Wait, message was blocked. You gave him your balls? What? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea when that message actually came up, so I don't know what that relates to. I don't... <laughs> Did I, did I give them my balls? I don't know. Maybe? Got a silver medal that time? Trash. Bad diplomacy. How many missions are there? Oh, it won't let us, it won't let us check. We can only look at the missions that we unlock so far. Lame. Who are these other people on the screen? The lady in the top right there. That's uh, the, the lady that stole the briefcase from us, but who are the other people? I'm assuming more villains? Oh. Dude, there's no way. Like, <laughs> how would you not notice a dude just climbing down a rope right next to you? Like, even if he made it past you before you turn and look, wouldn't you see the rope just hanging there that wasn't hanging there before? Is this silenced? It is silenced. Apparently we missed, though. Oh, probably shouldn't press the alarm. I'm assuming that won't end well for us, honestly. Oh, God. There's nobody here. <laughs> no need to sound the alarm. Oh, God. Okay, so we can't we can't let anyone see us. If we do, we gotta we gotta shoot them. Fine. That's fine. Okay, wait for him to turn so he's walking straight forward. There we go. Is this like a dart gun or something? Why is this one killing people instantly where the other gun took, took time to kill anyone? So what do we do here? Like, there's no way for us to look around the corner, is there? I guess we just take them out quick, like that. I mean, it worked. Want secrets? Darts. Oh, it's like a, a dark gun, maybe a trank gun or something like that. Okay. I mean, sure, that makes sense. It would be nice and quiet and everything for the stealth section at least. Okay, we know from the last time we came down here, there's another dude around the corner right here. I don't think he's... Oh, nope, he is facing us this time. Oh, and then there's probably... Two dudes here? No. Never mind. No one here. Strange. Uh, I think we were going the wrong way. Go back the other way. Oh, I thought that table was a person. Suspiciously empty. God, that door kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. Gave me a bit of a jump scare. If we break anything, are we going to get caught, like, instantly? Oh, God. What? No, don't sound the alarm. Okay, how do we deal with this? 
Do we use like our own laser? No. Claw? I feel like that would send it. Oh, we got new glasses? I don't remember them talking about that. Uh, I guess we just jump over it? God damn it. No! No! Oh, hi. I think there might be people on the other side there. <laughs> hi! <laughs> Griffin's quarters. The only way is up. Uh, up like this ladder that's right here. Actually see through the window we can. Do we, do we go in? Hello? Anyone home? Oh, never mind. I guess that was, is that the end of the mission? No, access the secure room. Need a key card. Okay. Let's go this away. More darts, please and thank you. Um How do we get the key card? Maybe from his bedroom? Oh. Hi there. Would I lose the game if I darted you? Or would that be okay? Bond. Fucking chill, dude. Just leave. Stop staring at the lady and just leave. These are private quarters. Sorry, miss. I'm with the new security team oh my God. by the home office. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Really? Shall I show you the way? <laughs> Seriously? Whatever, game. Now what? You love how the crouch walk is like Bond is dragging his ass across the facility. <laughs> I'm just imagining a dog dragging their ass across the carpet now. Oh, is that a body double? Your eyes don't deceive you. Unfortunately, I am the last thing they will ever see. Can I just... Can I just shoot him? I mean... <laughs> Was that supposed to be... Okay, whatever. Oh, okay. We gotta, we gotta leave. Fine. I'm going back. For some reason, I feel like there's gonna be people here now where there weren't before. What happens if we go back into that room again? Despite our recent setback in Hong Kong, our plans will not be disrupted. You must receive and deliver our defective merchandise to Malprave Industries in Switzerland. Okay, now escape the embassy. Couldn't I just go out the way I came in? That, that seems a lot safer than whatever the hell this is. We already know we killed everyone over, over there. Oh, shit. Don't sound the alarm. Alarms are bad. Also, we're like out of ammo now. Uh, so that's going to make things more difficult. Uh, moving laser, that's fine. Is there anything that I missed up here? Like, darts, maybe. In the boxes? Around the corners? No. There's fuck all. Damn bulletproof glass. Always fucking everything up. What were the point of the specs that we were given? Oh, 
He's fuck. He did see us. Where's he at? Oh, God. <laughs> no, the mission can't derail over there. Should we just... Should we just leave? I feel like... I feel like I have to check everything. My rope is still hanging there, man. I could have just climbed out. Don't tell me Bond can't climb a freaking rope. Q specs. I still don't know what these are for. Can I use a gun while I while I have this out? I, yes, I can. Okay, whatever. We're gonna wear the specs. <laughs> maybe maybe it'll do something. Does it show me like people around the corner? No. Um, I'm assuming we need to go this way. Just because you know. That's where our rope is. Okay, we're back to the... Oh, hi! You're a dude. Don't sound the alarm! Nobody likes an alarm sounder. Oh, I thought he lived. Okay, there we are. Could I have just walked out instead of dealing with that guy? <laughs> I think we probably could have just ran out the door and let that dude live. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. What would Bond de be without some needless needless killing? Bond moves only two out of seven. Man, we keep missing a lot of those. Just kill everyone. Exactly. Just kill them all, dude. Problem solved. That also took us a really long time, apparently. Well, I felt like a stealth mission, so I feel like I had to do it stealth. Noodle with the five bits. Thank you so much, Noodle. Silence! I didn't even know you were still around, dude. Hello, hello. Just in time for us to sign off. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is just about three o'clock. Close enough, at least. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do another mission. So we're going to call it there for a night. We'll be back tomorrow with a little bit of RimWorld action. About three hours of it. We're going to continue our playthrough of the Ritualites or whatever the hell we called it. Uh, I did figure out the problem that I was having with the scheduler thing not working correctly. So we'll be able to do that effectively now. It schedules people's time for when they're at home and away from home and stuff like that. Um, and then I, there's one other mod that I want to add. I, I need to remember. I'm going to look it up tonight and try to add it. I'm hoping it doesn't break anything. But I think there's a mod that lets you lock doors for certain pawns or something like that. Because it would be nice if we could, like, lock the doors for people's houses so they're the only ones that can get in there. I don't know. But we might try that out, too. Regardless, though, that is all the time we have for tonight. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Have a good night, everyone. Silence. Have a fun rest of your night working that water jet. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other.